Welcome to Venue Marketing 101, a free educational video series for event profs powered by Snappening, an event technology company helping you find places to host parties and the pros that plan them, and the Venue Marketing Society, an online community dedicated to answering real venue owners and managers about their daily marketing challenges. Well, hi there. I'm your host, Crystal Grave, the founder, president, and CEO of Snappening. And I'm also the author of the industry's ultimate guide to venue marketing, how to market an event venue, a free downloadable guide to marketing venues from scratch with more than 300 pages of useful tips, ideas, stories, and real life examples to immediately supercharge any venue's marketing plan. Feel free to connect with me on Twitter and a host of other places if you'd like. I'd love to hear from you. Everybody, we're back again this week with our Venue Marketing 101 video series. Just in case you missed episode one, I want to suggest you give that a quick listen first and then catch up to any of these future episodes. Episode one really sets the tone for our discussions about venue discoverability. It helps define the venue discoverability model and it highlights the five steps we're going to showcase over the course of a year with each episode in the series. In other words, episode one really helps all these other episodes make a lot more sense. You don't need to watch them all in order to get something out of them, but doing so may help some viewers plan their marketing strategies a little better. And we'd be doing you no favors if we didn't make a video series with something extra in the value department, right? Something you can use right now and see immediate results. That's where our individual episodes featuring more than 50 solid venue marketing ideas come into play. Each video gives you a few nuggets of solid marketing advice that's been tailored specifically for venue owners and managers. Some little aha or oh right idea that you can easily incorporate into your daily routine. So please feel free to join us weekly right here on our YouTube channel as we explore this topic all year long and add value to your week. Welcome to today's episode, episode number 20, where we're talking all about giving gifts, the importance of timing, gift value, and the true message gifts send. So let's get gifty. We wanted to remind you about where we are right now in the video series, just so you know exactly what we're talking about in each episode and our discussion path makes sense to you. To refresh your memory, the discoverability influence model has four circles. We started with circle number one, in-person influence, and the 11 ideas in that section in episodes number two through 13. Now we're moving one more ring out to circle two, the referral network. This is the next layer of influence and makes sense as our next step. We're going to cover 17 more venue marketing ideas in episodes number 15 through 31. And after we finish this section, we'll move on to the next circle later in the series. Who doesn't love the idea of a gift? I love this quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson that reminds us that one of the greatest gifts we can give anyone is a piece of our time, our talent, or assistance with a special need. I'd also like to think that Mr. Emerson would like to share a portion of these cupcakes with me just as readily if I offered him the chance to do so. I want to dive in just a little deeper to gift timing, the appropriate value of gifts, and the real messages that gifts send. Also, if anyone ever wants to send me cupcakes to thank me for these videos, just drop me a line and I will send you my address post haste. My sweet tooth thanks you in advance, of course. So let's say you want to get someone a gift. What's the best way to go about doing that? Sure, it's completely easy and obvious when it's a friend or family member, but don't the rules change a little in business? They do actually. So what I'd suggest is if you're going to get in the habit of gift giving as an extension of your venue discoverability and referral network goals, that you have an established gift giving plan of some sort. You want to be able to give someone a gift as quickly as possible after whatever has triggered that wish. Maybe that's a thank you for booking the venue, or maybe you want to congratulate a past client on a new baby. Whatever the details, you need to be able to get the gift out quickly and easily. I'd say well within a week of the inspiration. Etiquette might dictate that a thank you go out within three days of the triggering event. Just FYI. So think about what you want to be able to do in advance so it's simpler on you when the time comes to make it happen. Do you want to establish an account with your local florist so they already have an open bill for you and you can just call or email in a standing order and value? What about some basic credit accounts with local merchants and some generic greeting cards, stamps, and gift cards and small gifts around the office so you can just send items out immediately in the mail? You take my point here. Whatever your process is going to be, go ahead and do some work in advance so you can be quicker on the back side of the goal and get your gifts out before they become too out of touch or too late to send. You want to eliminate barriers for yourself. Keep in mind, it's really your thoughtfulness that matters a whole lot more than the retail value of any gift. 
I recommend having a variety of items available and in mind for your referral network, including things in the $5 to $10 range, maybe the $25 to $50 range, and then the $100 to $250 range for larger relationships. Knowing about a recipient's favorite things makes gift giving easier, but you almost cannot go wrong with coffee, tea, nut, or sweets gift sets, flowers or plants, or some other personal spa services like yoga, massage, or similar gender-specific luxury offerings. Almost anything works, so long as it truly speaks to how much you value the recipient. I mentioned this in episode number three of the video series, but I'll repeat it here too because it's relevant. When it comes to actual business gifts, the trick in gift giving is not going overboard unless the gesture of thanks is supremely warranted. So I think of a simple value matching principle. Smaller thanks, smaller value. This is important because sometimes gifts that are too valuable can be perceived as bribes. So you want to be mindful of this, especially across cultures. So if you're wondering what message you're sending when you give someone a gift, I think generally you can set the tone by including a super thoughtful note. Again, this is where having your gift giving strategy somewhat outlined in advance will make it easier for you to be able to do it on the fly and have that polished execution that matters for your business building goals at the venue. This is a place where you can certainly go digital, but there's probably something a little more magical about sending a physical paper card and note to someone in the snail mail. We all get so much junk mail now that our little hearts leap out of our chest when we see something colorful, handwritten, and just for us. What could it be? We weren't expecting a note. It might be something great. It's not even from our mom, so it really might be something special. Never has someone torn into something faster than a cute little note they weren't expecting. So don't let the inside be a letdown. I've included several resource links about how to write great notes to go with your gifts so you won't have to be clever on your feet and you can have these examples ready whenever you need them next. Just find them in the video summary description. Really what I mean to say here is it's not just about the gift. Sure, gifts, cards, notes, and fancy wrapping paper are nice, but what you're really demonstrating here is something more special than all that combined. It's gratitude. And true gratitude for those helping you along the way will serve you far more in your referral building goals than anything else ever will. So if you do anything, do it with gratitude at the center of your approach. I hope by now you're feeling warm and fuzzy about all the cool gifts you're going to start giving and what might work for you and your venue. I hope you'll join us next time for episode number 21, where we're going to talk about phone calls, the importance of reaching out to your referral partners, the 80-20 rule, and how adding this special touch to your referral building venue sales process could be a solid move for your own professional development. If you've enjoyed this video and thought to yourself, you know what, it would be mighty handy to have some more content like this and some people to talk to on a regular basis about my venue and somewhere to ask questions right as I think of them, well then, I have just the place for you. Pop on over to Facebook and and visit facebook.com forward slash groups venue marketing society no spaces and connect with us now we have daily prompts about venue marketing ideas real challenges people are facing and other cool things we're finding online we've also included a link to our group down in the video description here on youtube to save you a step i've also mentioned our free downloadable ebook a couple of times in the video and in case you'd like more learning like this but want to take it at your own pace and snag a copy of your own you can grab this link and get the book down in the summary for the video or you can head over to the blog post mentioned on the screen. Just complete the download form on the blog and poof, you're all set. You'll also receive more exclusive content when you sign up for the ebook that will help you with your learning over the next several weeks. We'd love to socialize with you. Join us online in any of the channels you see here. It'll be great to chat with you. The Venue Marketing 101 video series is created, produced, and licensed by Snappening. We extend our thanks to our production team and the artists who have helped contribute to the work showcased in this video. That's all for today's episode. We look forward to having you join us for the next one right here on our YouTube channel. Your likes and comments on this video help guide our team's future content roadmap. So share the love below if we're helping you in your venue marketing journey and let us know how we could help you even more in the future. If you'd like to be notified about episodes as soon as they're released, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash snappening.